Hi, I'm Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca in the Pinpoint 12 Forecast Center. You've clicked on the Weather Now link. It is a Tuesday evening, almost uh, 10 o'clock, another exceptionally cold night. Uh, look at these numbers. And again, it's almost about 10 o'clock in the evening, uh, down to 16 Smithfield, 21 Providence. Some spots like a Taunton at uh, 9 degrees above zero. So some locations kind of overachieving tonight uh, with the cold temps. Uh, conditions are ideal for some of these numbers to be dropping off rapidly. So uh, dry night, uh, dry streak continues. In fact, I don't see any precipitation until probably late Saturday afternoon, Saturday evening. So we've got some... Sunshine over the next uh, several days. Moderating temperatures, even though it's quite cold tonight through early tomorrow morning, uh, we do turn noticeably milder Thursday and Friday. In fact, even uh, Wednesday afternoon, we'll get temperatures to more seasonable levels. We'll get above freezing. We're thinking mid to upper 30s on uh, Wednesday afternoon. Watching the weekend, uh, now we're not anticipating any kind of a huge storm here, but later Saturday, Saturday night, Sunday, the chance for some rain and snow. Leaning more towards the rain scenario right now with a little bit of snow. There may not be enough cold air around by the weekend to support an all-snow situation. But uh, check back with us. That, you know, it's still several days out. Here's the um, satellite radar composite across the northeast. And really, other than just some of these fair weather clouds streaming through from time to time, it's just uh, cold and quiet. Here's the wider view. And notice the, uh, you know, the eastern half of the country is dry, and that's courtesy of that Blue H high pressure. And that'll stick around for the next couple of days, keeping us, um, keeping us dry. This moisture, you see it across the deep south and the central plains, this will actually take until the weekend uh, to get here. So in the meantime, we'll stay dry. These are your temperatures as of uh, almost 10 o'clock. And the cold spots in the entire country across the Great Lakes and right here in the uh, New England. So let's walk you through it hour by hour here, starting off this evening and take it through the overnight under mainly clear skies. Actually, these numbers are um, probably a bit too high. Now, this is a computer output. It's indicating like, uh, you know, 18 to 20 by 5 a.m. I think we're, we're more like, like 5 to 15 degrees uh, by, uh, you know, just pre-dawn on Wednesday. So, you know, you get the picture. It's cold, very cold and dry. Uh, sunshine takes over another sunny day and temperatures do recover by the afternoon. We're in the mid to upper 30s, around 35, 37. You know, the average high is 37. So, you know, we're in the ballpark. Blue skies and dry. Clear tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock for the commute. And then later tomorrow night, Wednesday night, at 11 o'clock clear and temperatures back in the mid 20s. All right, here we are for uh, your Wednesday. Uh, frigid start early, 15 degrees. I think some spots still will be colder than that. We'll just kind of take that as an average. Um, 10, uh, 8 o'clock in the morning, 19, that's it, sunshine, and by 10 o'clock, it's in the upper 20s, and then during the afternoon, you're looking good. I mean, this is a real nice day. I mean, for late January, and you know, sun 37, that's not bad on a light southwest breeze, uh, anywhere from about um, 5 to 10 miles per hour. All right, seven-day forecast. Temps moderate Thursday and Friday. We're in the 40s. We'll bring in some, well, look at the temps over the weekend, around 40. So it's cool, but it's not extremely cold. So trying to get snow around here may be tough. We're going to think we're thinking dry Saturday morning, rain shower Saturday evening, Saturday night may mix with a little wet snow on Sunday. But stay tuned on that overnight low temperatures over the weekend in the upper 20s to low 30s. All right, that's your latest weather now update. Thanks for logging in and we'll talk to you soon.